Hello friends, welcome back to day 16 of 30 Days of Ink. Today's ink is Abel. I've paired it with my spring break edition of the Camden composition. This one has a medium nib. So Albert, or the Alberts, were actually a series of monkeys, uh, three Reese's macaques and one crab-eating macaque that were part of Project Hermes that used the recovered VR rockets and they were the first primates launched into space. This was a decade before NASA. The U.S. was the first country ever to launch a primate into space on June 11th, 1948, and a rhesus macaque named Albert was launched on a V-2 rocket to a subspace altitude of 39 miles. Unfortunately, he died of suffocation. This was a hard one to read about. Albert II became the first monkey and first primate in space on June 14th, 1949, as he passed the Kármán line that designates the boundary of space. So he survived the V-2 rocket flight, but died on impact after his parachute failed. Albert III died at 35,000 feet when his V-2 rocket exploded on September 16th, 1949. And then Albert IV, the last of the V-2 monkeys, died December 8th, 1949, after reaching an altitude of 130.6 kilometers when there was another parachute failure. The early days of space travel, space exploration, when we were trying to determine whether or not it was going to be safe to send humans up, a lot of a lot of animals were were trained to go before us and a lot of them died. Animal heroes that we really don't hear much about. I hadn't really heard of these animals before I started looking them up for this project. There were a series of monkeys named Albert who were also launched to gather data about the effects of spaceflight on men. They flew as part of Project Hermes. They were among the often overlooked heroes of the early space age. From a pop sci article, The Alberts, Spaceflight's Unsung Heroes, which I have linked below. So this ink, I would say, is pretty eye-searing and for me, it is difficult to read. The shading is great. It is a fun color, but I think I would be more likely to use this in an art project than as something to write with. Paint with, definitely. Write with, no. It's it's hard for me to read my to read my writing. It's it's a little too light on the page, but also bright for me. The chromatography is really pretty. There's obviously some underlying turquoise, teal blue, a lot of yellow. Uh, very, very pretty chromatography. Thank you so much for watching today, and I hope to see you back tomorrow.